Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jordan or Floor Lotus, uh, whatever you guys want to call me. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a thorn type render um, on Cinema 4D. Uh, I'll have a little picture up now of what it will look like, so hopefully you guys will want to know how to do this. So um, let's just get straight into it. So I've got my AI file here. I'm going to start by. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spline um, and I'm just going to draw kind of like that just a random random line and then you need the plugin reaper x for this um, so I'm going to get reaper drag the spline into reaper two strands and then I usually drag the radius up to like 20 ish distance around 16 that's fine okay I'm going to move that down there right next you're going to get your cone Alright, where's the cone gone? Alright, there it is. Okay. And I'm going to bring the bottom radius all the way down. And then you can change the height. And then, guys, it's just all about placing it where you, where you think is best. Uh, you rotate them around a bit. Spin them around. I, I I actually thought of this because I was at work and I work in a garden centre. It's actually pretty sick. And um, I walked past a bush and a thorn stabbed me in the arm, so I decided to do a thorn type um, render for you guys. I use this quite a lot. Usually, whenever I do three D stuff, this is what I what I like to do. Just I I just think it looks it looks nice. I think. So hopefully you guys do too. So I'm just gonna duplicate all of them. I wouldn't normally do that. And just drag them back. You wanna put them inside the uh the Reaper spline. Um Alright, so you got them. I'm gonna grab all of them, click on the Reaper um the Reaper layer or whatever. Uh hold shift and then click on the top cone. Control C, control V. And then without touching anything, go to rotation. Turn this around like that. And then I'm going to put that here. And I'm actually going to bring this. Um, I'll put this here. So as you can see, you've got all your thorns sticking out. Get your texture. Uh, right, where should we grab a texture from? I'll just grab, uh, actually no, I won't do the textures. Um, right, something else I like to do is I like to add platonic, or however you say it, platonic. Okay, drag that along here. Resize it a bit, bring it bring it down quite, quite small, right? Gonna control, control V, and then I'm gonna get an atom array, and I'm gonna do Cylinder radius one, sphere radius one, drag a platonic in there. And then I usually just do it with a, a block colour, like pink or something like that. Um and then you've got those control C, control V to duplicate them. And then what I usually do with these is I put them in the indentations. So like here. And so like this, they're inside the spline, but they're still sticking out, if that makes sense. That should make sense. Um, I'm just going to put them randomly all over here. You can rotate them as well, just to give it a bit of uniqueness. Just going to keep bringing them round. I'll add textures and that to it before I put it in Photoshop um, so you guys don't have to watch me put textures on them. Nearly there. I actually love doing banners like this. They're pretty unique as well, you don't see too many people doing banners like this. You could even add the um, the atom array to the thorns. Let's give that a go. Uh, right. 
This is just, I've never done this before, so we'll see how this goes. Where's it going? Um, one, one. Definitely not. Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Right, uh, let's get texture, texture, texture. Um, I'm gonna go for. Oh, here we go. Right, I'm gonna go for this purple texture, and I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. Right, so I'm gonna add. Usually, what I like to do is I add different textures to the um, thorns. So change that from mapping to frontal. Uh, hold control and just drag them all down. You can either change it to front or um, shit to frontal or spherical. I don't think it really matters too much. It's just personal preference. And then I'm just gonna add. The re that texture to the reaper frontal again right and then also in the platonic I don't even know if I'm saying that word right to be honest with you and the platonic nearly there Okay. Right, so that should be all right. We got the era logo. Um, another thing you can do to make the background like, well, not to make it look like it's inside is just go ahead and do something like that. Right, and then again, add Reaper to it. Plug in Reaper. Spline into Reaper, and then I usually make the strand on this one like a one. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag this along. Drag this through here, and then you can just resize it and rotate it to make it look like it's kind of grabbing your logo. Um, I'm not sure what logo you guys will have, so. It it will work different for different logos, but for something like the era logo, because I know a lot of people go for the era recruitment challenges, so this might be a bit useful to you guys. Um, that's another thing. Floors have a recruitment challenge, so if any of you guys want to try out for that, go for it. Um, right, so that's fine. That's just something optional, but you know, you don't have to do it. I'm just gonna quickly. Add a texture to all of those. Right, control C. Right, atom array. Drag all that in there. You can use um, Nitro Blast to on the text but that's down to you guys I normally do but I'm not going to do that today so you render that out and I'll cut to Photoshop and I'll whack out one that I've already done uh, here we go right so I'm putting this out on Photoshop here's just one I did this isn't actually as good as the the other one I did right so you've got your you've got your nice render there I, I did Nitro Blast on that, that's just a different banner. If it doesn't reach the size, go edit, transform, flip horizontal once you've duplicated it, and then literally just add it on. Or you can just cut random bits off. So, there you have it. I'm going to make this black. Grab a CC. Oh yeah, also, sorry, I forgot to do the giveaway yesterday. There was something wrong with the 
schedules so there you go obviously that's no photoshop work done on that so it'll look a lot better when you add some lights and some stocks and stuff in the background but that's just a quick tutorial for you guys hopefully you enjoyed this um i love banners like this but tell me what you guys think in the comments down below uh please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it that much um this has been jordan peace out guys